A little while ago, one of our neighbors gave my son a JJRC Q65 Jeep Willis lookalike crawler RC car as a gift. And that was all fine and dandy. But after a very short period of time, the motor had burned out. It was never particularly fast or particularly strong. And so we replaced the motor with the same type toy motor. And of course, after a little while on the lawn, it burned out again. So the original motor of this uh, JJRC Q65 clearly is a bit on the weak side. Now Banggood offered to jump in and send us a couple of upgrade parts for a project. And here is the first part of the project video converting the JJRC Q65 to a bit more capable RC toy. Now what we have here is the Euro AV metal transfer gearbox that is an a uh, geared motor that comes with a transfer box and it's all solid metal parts very nicely made and in an attempt to be very very clever i had first assembled it incorrectly because the original transfer box that comes with the q65 that has both drive shafts turning in the same direction for the front and the rear wheels. Now, if this Euro AV transfer box is assembled correctly, the both drive shafts will turn in different directions. And this means you have to turn around one of these uh, differentials uh, at the front or at the rear of the, of the car which is not really a big issue, but I did not know that at the time. So assembling it as intended is a very good idea. So what we have here is uh, an all metal constructions with rather decent gears and uh, also with ball bearings. So that should actually run fairly smoothly. It will, of course, have a lot more power than the original motor and uh, will, of course, also put a bit more strain on the, on the drive shaft. What we ended up doing, and you will see that in the next video, is we also replaced the original battery, which is a, a nickel metal hydrate against uh, a lithium cell, uh, actually not just a cell, but a, a whole pack, which delivers a higher voltage. And we had checked before that the electronic will uh, withstand that higher voltage. So that was not an issue at all. And well, after that, we had this whole thing running at a fairly decent speed with a lot of power. So here's just a test run of the motor with 5 volts. That's not awfully fast, but it's very, very strong. And in the next video, you will see how we achieved this